She has something to say. Clearly. Huh? What? I want to explain to everyone why I was trying to assassinate the Chosen. <laughs> All right, we're listening. This is the cutscene I was talking about. Tell us about your yeah, homeland. A land that doesn't exist in this world. You knew? No. But you said it yourself that Silveront will be saved. That must mean you aren't from Silveront. Yeah. You know, it's really a shame that your intellect's being wasted here. You're right. My homeland is not here. Not in Silveront. Okay. What does that mean? <laughs> My world is called Tetheala. Tetheala? You mean the moon? Yes. <laughs> of course not. My world isn't on the moon. Yes, it is. Even I really don't understand the specifics. But there's another world that lies entwined with Silveront. As shadow is to light. That's Tetheala. My world. Two entwined worlds. The two worlds lie directly adjacent to each other. They just can't see one another. Our scholars say they exist on shifted dimensions. Ouch. Anyway, the two worlds can't see or touch each other, but they do in fact exist next to and affect each other. What do you mean, affect each other? They vie for the supply of mana. When one Duh. world begins, the mana from that world will be from heaven. Okay, Dad. <laughs> As a result, <laughs> One world is always flourishing, and the other waning. Sort of like an hourglass. Are you sleeping, Lloyd? Yeah, he is bored. Wait, so right now Silveron is... Yeah. Yeah. Silveron's mana is flowing to Tepeala. Therefore, Silveron is in decline. Without mana, crops won't grow <clears throat> and magic becomes unusable. If there's no mana, the summoned spirits that protect the world alongside the goddess Martel can't survive in Silveron either. As a result, the world slips even further down the path of destruction. Then the Chosen's world regeneration is actually the process of reversing the mana flow? Exactly. Sure when the Chosen breaks a seal, the mana flow reverses, and the summon spirit that governs the seal awakens. I was sent to prevent the world regeneration from happening. I broke through the supposedly impassable dimensional fissure for the sake of protecting Tepeala. <gasps> In other words, to assure the decline and destruction of Silveron? You can say that. Yes. But your journey of regeneration is also an attempt to destroy Tepeala. We're both doing the same thing. It's hard for me to believe all of this. Yeah, but they didn't know it. I know. I'm the proof. I possess summoning arts that have been lost from this world. No, you don't. Please don't look at me like that, Colette. I know that wasn't your intention. I don't know what I should do either. She can't speak. I came here to protect Tepeala. This world is impoverished and everyone is suffering. But if I allow Gosh. the world regeneration to occur, God. then Tepeala will become just like this. But right now you're helping us, right? What's yes, he but that doesn't Carlos mean is I not can involved. just abandon Tepeala. I, I, I don't I know what this. to do. Isn't there any other way? He knew a way for Silver yeah, and Tepeala and Colette to all be happy? I want to know too. Have you considered that perhaps nothing that convenient exists in the real world? The best thing oh my God, to do right now is to save Silveron from its current crisis. What if we don't regenerate the world and just defeat the Desiants? Although we succeeded in destroying a ranch, we cannot possibly eliminate all the Desiants, and the mana will eventually be exhausted. Is mana really that important? Yeah. Duh. I suppose only magic users and scholars worry about it. And but if you want to live. Is even more important to life than water. Without it, the land but mana is also bread. Mana is I the know. source material which composes everything. At least that's what I've been taught. Unfortunately, the giant tree of ever-flowing mana in fairy tales the doesn't exist tree. in the real world. Anymore. We live by chipping away at the limited amount of available mana. Why do you think the ancient magi technology was lost? Because mana disappeared from the world. Correct. I'm sorry. Magi technology consumes large amounts of mana. If things continue the way they are now, no. Silveront will eventually lose its mana, just as it lost its magi technology and be destroyed. Magitech. Whoa. Hi. What are you doing? Colette. R. E. Remiel. Remiel. I. Ah, you're trying to spell something, right? Duh. Well, yeah. I'll. Try asking Remiel if there's a 
way to save, save the, two worlds. the two worlds. If it doesn't work out, she'll do a I may have to kill you after all. Sheena! What? When that oh my God, Lloyd. time oh no. comes, I may fight back. Because I love Severon too. I understand. Yeah, geez. You intend to become an angel no matter what, don't you? Duh. Yes. Save Sukal. Jesus cutscene. I know, that took forever. That's one of my favorite ones. Talked. I know. <laughs> that was epic. That was funny. Colette? I was so surprised she was there. I know. It like scared me. <laughs> I think it was Colette's turn to talk, but she can't. Yeah, probably. God, we're back here again. I know. I'm sick of seeing this town. I know. Where's the priest? God, I'll just stop talking. He says the same thing. Oh my god. Cool it. Commentary. We've just made too many videos, I have nothing to say. Yeah, I know. Uh, we're just gonna cut it off there, so we'll see you guys later.